Orioles sign Jose Inglacius. Uh, three million dollar deal. Um, one year, three million dollar deal. Real solid here in Cincinnati last year and plugs in in an empty hole. Uh, the team had a shortstop. Plus, they can get something back for him if he performs well by the trade deadline. Listen, 288, 318, 407. That's a solid hitter when you couple a couple with with a good glove. And if you bat him low, it isn't that uh, you know it, it isn't it isn't it's, that's not even bad at all. He's a he's a good trade chip too. Listen, 288. That's a solid hitter. Not everyone has to hit 330 in order to be considered a good hitter. Many fans, you know, think now that a home run, you have to be a home run hitter, hitting 30 plus home runs, or you're on solid. Batting average, listen, is very important. Look, uh, I'll give you an example, right? Like Hayward, out there in Chicago, hit 270 and 218, and it was considered uh, a bad hitting season. But in 2019, he hits 21 home runs, bats 252, <coughs> and they consider that a better year. The mentality is completely uh, backwards with fans, I think, sometimes. They devalue uh, the, the value of defense over offense, too. If you're not hitting 40 home runs in a season, then you're not worth anything, seems to be the mentality. Well, you know, tell that to Chris Carter, who led the NL in homers and then was never seen in Major League Baseball after that season. Listen, I would say that 318 OBP is is the weakest there. Uh, League average... Last year it was 323, so he isn't that much off that number, and a, and, a, and, a, and a great defender. For a rebuilding team, he is the perfect player to help develop, you know, uh, a kind of a pitching staff. So, a player doesn't have to hit for power to be good. There are many Hall of Famers who don't uh, hit for power, such as Tony Gwynn, Ozzy Smith. Power, a lot of people think that power is what makes a great player. That's not necessarily the case. Just keep that in mind. Solid hitter in, uh, in Iglesias. Hope all is well.